right, for this lesson, we are looking at some of the art of Norman Rockwell. We are also studying inferences, which means that we are coming up with conclusions based on context clues given a story illustration. So Norman Rockwell is one of the most famous American artists um, out there when it comes to realism and also illustrations that have good storytelling. This is him doing himself in triple self-portrait. He is also one of the famous artists who did the front of a very famous magazine back in the 40s and 50s called the Saturday Evening Post. This is one of his illustrations as marked by his signature on this edition of Saturday Evening Post. Using inference or drawing a conclusion based only on what you see in this picture, what is happening? If you've said that the boy pushing the carriage would rather be any other place than there and hates that he's being made fun of by the friends who are doing something a little more boy-like, like playing, playing baseball instead of pushing a baby carriage, you're correct. So his art, since it's illustrations, they're stories. They all have stories in them. And this one's called The Gossips from 1948. You can tell by the woman in the top left that she's told someone, that someone else has told someone, that someone else has told her husband, that someone else has told, has someone else told. And it comes back to the woman, the same woman in the bottom right corner. So you can tell by just the emotions that it must be some, something juicy and it must be about the person in the striped bowler hat at the bottom who's talking to the woman in the last panel. What inferences do you get from this picture called The Shiner in 1953? This is a great picture that shows a tomboy, okay, or this really rough and tough girl who's obviously been in a fight. She has multiple bandages on herself. Her socks are all messy. Her ribbons are all array. Her hair's a mess. And she has this really good black eye called a shiner. She's also outside the principal's office. What do you think is going to happen next based off of this information? This was more one of the more serious ones. It's a part of a series of four called the Freedoms From or the Four Freedoms. And there's freedom of worship, freedom of speech, freedom from want, and this one, Freedom from Fear, done in 1943, right in the throes of World War II. It's a little hard to see, but what is the man with the newspaper? What does the title read on that? What other things do you see in the room to tell you whose room this is? What do the motions read on the parents' faces? Can you tell anything about the wartime feeling from this picture? What can you tell from it? Inferences are very much about what are used in comics. It's what makes them funny without the author or the illustrator having to explain them all. So this is one from Garfield, which obviously isn't by Norman Rockwell. Okay, it's by Jim Davis, but it still shows Garfield. Garfield, are you happy? He simply has to look at his bowl, and he says, no food, no happy. So you don't need to really come to a conclusion um, based on what the author is telling you directly. You come to your own conclusion, inference. So we are doing comics. Catch me in the next video for your instructions.